Hello musicians, thank you for joining us. My name is Andrew Mercer and in this video I'm going to be uh, tackling a question that's come from many subscribers both on my blog andrewmercer.ca as well as in here in YouTube and that question is how can I make my vocal tracks fuller? How can I make them thicker? Now the first thing I'm going to say to you is that there's this video right here I'm going to link to is a video that will show you how to deal with microphone placement now microphone placement in your vocals very very important and that will definitely improve your general vocal tracks and make them thicker and fuller anyway but in this video I'm going to talk about how to double up your tracks to make them sound even fuller in the, especially in a mix where you've got a guitar, bass, drums, keyboards and you want to make your vocal tracks really full out the, the mix now I've recorded myself singing a very basic song here no comments please a, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I've done no treatments of that at all. No compressor, no EQ, nothing. It's just me in the microphone. So what I did then was I recorded the exact same thing a second time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So you can hear it's doubling up. It sounds pretty cool. That can have some effects. And you've heard that millions of times in songs on the radio or whatever. But we want to make it even fuller. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select that second track. That's uh, I just click on the left hand tab there. And I'll go up to edit and I'm going to go down to duplicate. Or I can do command D. There you go. So now I have two of the exact same thing. The, these are exactly the same, these two. So there's not going to be any difference because they're, uh, they are exactly the A, same. A, B, C. See, it's the same as before. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to pan this uh, first track all the way to the left. I'm not going to touch my main one, my first one. And I'm going to pan the, the other one, the second one, all the way to the right. And now if I play it, those two tracks will be separated. It still won't change a whole lot. A, B, C. Still sounds pretty much the same. But here's the trick. I'm going to zoom in a little bit now. Zoom in a little, you know, like that. I'm going to place my cursor in here. I'm going to grab my time shift tool up here at the top you can see it's a little line with the double arrowhead and I'm gonna shift the first track a little bit backward and the second one a little bit forward so you can see this one's a little late the second one's a little later than the third one now now let's have a listen H I J K L M N O P that's pretty dramatic that's pretty dramatic now all of a sudden your the backing vocals the, the second track I did pops way out. It really makes it sound full. Let's listen to the whole thing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. There you go. Now, in my, for my taste, I'd probably want to uh, bring the volume level down a little on both of these tracks. You know, down a little bit so it's more background sort of thing. Because right now it's a little overpowering. A, B, C, D. Yeah, that's a little nicer. So you can play with those settings yourselves and make it fit for you. There you go. That's how you can fatten up your tracks. This might be good for a chorus or a bridge or some other section of the song you want to really make it pop out. Give us a like, guys. Give us a like. If this helped you out, give me a like down below. Uh, also, share on Facebook. Share on Twitter. And be sure to subscribe for loads of new tutorials coming up all the time. Okay, guys. Happy recording, and I'll see you next time.